Hi there, my name is Megan Taylor and I'm a doctoral student at the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health where we study musicians' health. In light of COVID-19, we have expanded our work to create these videos for student musicians to learn about instrument hygiene. Later in this video, you will learn how to clean your instrument. For now, I would like to remind you of some of the personal hygiene habits that can help keep our instruments clean. I know this can feel like a lot um, of things to try to remember when you're trying to play your instrument, uh, but the good news is that we're all in this together. Talk with your classmates and your teachers about how you plan to keep yourself and others safe during band and orchestra class. Also, remember to ask your teachers if you have any questions or if you need any help with anything that you're about to see in the remainder of this video. From all of us here at the We Mean Clean Project, Thank you for watching and stay healthy. Hello, my name is Justin Hooper. My coworker, Ann McMillan, and myself run the University of North Texas Instrument Repair Shop. Our jobs are to provide repair services to the university students, the university owned instruments, and the surrounding community. In addition to this, we teach classes in brass and woodwind instrument repair and maintenance, as well as offer workshops and clinics for band directors and music educators. We are excited to be partnering with the Texas Center for Performing Arts Health and the Texas Academy of Math and Sciences to bring you these series of videos on how to properly clean your instruments at home. Please note that this type of cleaning does not sterilize or disinfect an instrument, but if done on a regular basis, will keep your instrument in good working order and free of harmful buildup. If you feel your instrument needs that kind of attention, we urge you to please reach out to your local music store or your band director for further guidance. We would also like to note that you need to follow the instructions very precisely. Any deviation from the instructions as outlined in the video could cause harm to your instrument or yourself, so please be advised. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in these videos, please feel free to reach out to either Anne or myself. We hope you find these videos very helpful and informative. Thanks. Hello, I'm Gerald Jones, and I'm from Denton High School, and I am a sophomore. Now today, we will be talking about how to clean the trumpet. So first, in order to clean the trumpet, you must take apart it. So take off the mouthpiece, take off the tuning slide. You can take this part out. Then you have this bit right here. This and I will not want to misplace these screws. So I will be setting these screws to the side where I will remember them. And then in order to make sure there's no compression, you have to take them out, put them in there. Then the next step will be to take off the valves. One valve, two valves, three valves. All right, now we're going to place the pieces of the trumpet into a warm bath. Now, not too warm and not too cold, sort of in the middle of being warm. So we're gonna put the trumpet down into there, along with the various other pieces we took out of the trumpet. We're going to get some dishwashing liquid, nothing too strong so that way it doesn't hurt the trumpet, but also keeps it clean. Now if you've made it this far, you're going to need a snake. Once you have a piece out here like this, you can use the snake to thread it through. You can also then go ahead and fit it through your lead pipe. So next you're going to get a cloth, dip it in the water, and use this cloth to now rub the outside of your instrument.
All right, so now we will be taking the smaller pieces out of the tub. Now that the mouthpiece is out of the bathtub, you can use a mouthpiece cleaner bit like this and put it through the end of your mouthpiece and put it all the way through and then pull it back out in order to clean the mouthpiece. And now we shall begin draining the tub and rinsing out the trumpet. But first we need to ensure that the water coming out is lukewarm. And we will begin to rinse out the form. Now once you've rinsed out your trumpet and the other pieces, then you set them to dry for about an hour-ish, I would say at most, to let them fully dry out before you start assembling the instrument back together. When we assemble the instrument back together, we will be using slide grease and valve oil in order to make sure that they're fully lubricated and ready to fully play once the instrument's back together. Now that the trumpet is dry, we shall be putting the trumpet back together using slide grease and valve oil. So you will apply the slide grease to the parts of the trumpet that most need them. Doing this on the tuning slide. There we go. And now it's time for the valves. You're gonna put some valve oil on it. The first valve. And there you go, you've cleaned your trumpet.